Welcome back, class. Uh, let's continue our study on triangle congruences. Uh, here in this lesson, we're going to be talking about two other triangle congruences, ASA and AAS. Now, just like the previous triangle congruence, uh, these are shortened forms for our postulates and theorem. Uh, ASA is angle side angle. And it tells us if two angles and the included side of one triangle, included side, are congruent to two angles and the included side, notice once again, same corresponding parts of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So here we have an example of what that looks like. Notice that we have angle C is congruent to angle Z. Angle C congruent to angle Z. We have angle B is congruent to angle Y. And we also have BC, side BC, is congruent to side YZ. Notice the notation. I went from two marks to one, two to one. That's the reason why it was YZ. Now, this side here of YZ and BC is included. It is between the two congruent angles. Therefore, it is included. Uh, this allows us to have an angle, a side, and an angle, an angle, a side, and an angle. So, therefore, we know, therefore, we know that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ by our angle side angle postulate. And that's the way that that one works. Let's look at the second one. The angle angle side theorem. The angle angle side theorem talks about non-included sides. Here we still have two angles, but the big key thing is the non-included. It's non-included. Non-included. The side has to be non-included. So if two angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles, and the corresponding non-included side of a second or another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. And the corresponding part is one of the key things for this theorem here. Uh, as we can see here in our diagram, we have angle F. Angle F is congruent to angle S. We also have that angle E is congruent to angle R. Now, we have two congruent sides. Now, what do we mean by corresponding? Well, notice that side EF, I'm sorry, EG, I apologize, EG is congruent to RT. Now, we know that by the markings. Now, in order for this to be congruent by angle-angle side theorem, these two sides have to be corresponding. And the way that I like to look at it is what angle, congruent angle, are they opposite? Notice that this angle, or this side, is opposite the angle with the single mark. Notice here, this side is opposite the angle with the congruent mark as well. So that lets me know they are corresponding. If, by some chance, this side would have been marked, it would have not been corresponding because side ST is opposite the angle with two marks. So it lets me know um, that by this side of RT being opposite the angle with one mark, it is corresponding to EG. Therefore, triangle EFG is congruent to triangle RST, and that is by angle, angle, side. So, two more shortcuts that we can use to prove triangles are congruent. So let's really put that into practice.